Hello craft lovers this is Rachita with another video for crafty scrappers Today I have four fun scene cards for you using the crafty scrappers stamp set wild birthday Let us start with this colorful card for this I use the bunny carrot and frog image from this stamp set and the flower border image from another stamp set called fern borders So I stamped the images with black pigment ink and clear embossed the outlines. Then I used watercolor pencils to color all the images. I also colored four carrots and four frogs in different shades. Then I used the Cupid Love stamp set from Crafty Scrappers to stamp some cloud images. I fussy cut out all the images to get them ready to build a scene on the card. To ground the whole scene, I cut out a strip of white cardstock, then cut one of the edges with a deckled edge scissor and colored it green to make it look like a grassy ground. I also did some fussy cutting around the flower border so I could tuck some other images in it. Then I took a 6x4 inches navy blue card base and placed a slightly smaller pastel blue card panel over it to build the scene by layering the elements one by one. Finally, I stuck everything down in place and added some curves looking like springs under the frogs and the bunny for fun to complete building my scene. I then added the sentiment happy birthday and that completes this card. Let's look at this porthole scene shaker card now. For this, I stamped and colored the images of the fishes with watercolor pencils. That piggy image is for the next card. I fussy cut the fish images and then using a porthole die I cut out a few porthole frames. I laid a few to add dimension to hold the shaker elements and kept one for the top layer over the acetate window. I used copper embossing powder to add texture to the top frame and then went over it with a little bit of patina paste to enhance the texture. I happened to have this die so I used it. You can also use basic circle dies to cut out circle frames and punch holes around to make it look like a porthole. I then took a circular piece of non-porous white cardstock to fit into the porthole frame and colored it using shades of blue alcohol ink. Here is how it looked after drying. I then marked the position of the fishes and stamped the bubble images from the wild birthday stamp set with silver pigment ink. To add to the deep sea effect, I used a black glaze pen to draw some schools of fishes around. Finally, I assembled the shaker by adding some light blue sequins and beads and mounting it on a light blue pure swirly background cardstock. I created the sentiment by embossing it and surrounding it with bubble images to give it a patterned background. Then I added the card panel to a blue colored card base and the shaker card is ready. Let us now make this adorable piggy card. For this, I wanted a moon image. So I took a pastel yellow circle card stock about 2 and 1/2 inches in diameter. Then I did some ink smooshing with the Crafty Scrappers charcoal dye ink. After the charcoal ink, I used a silver spray and did some smooshing with that as well. Then I left it to dry. For the base, I took a black card panel and embossed it using a star pattern embossing folder. I also used a stamp to create a roof pattern on a maroon cardstock and shaped the edges by fussy cutting. I then cut out a cloud shape using a cloud die from a champagne colored cardstock. and emboss the sentiment i miss you pick time on it the moon was ready after drying and i fussy cut out the piggy image i had colored with the watercolor pencils i used a silver marker to color some of the embossed stars on the background panel then i took a white card base and laid all the elements on it to build a scene 
Finally, I stuck everything in place and the card is ready. Coming to the last card now. This is a simple fun card. I took a white card base, a die cut frame with inner scallops, a small panel of pattern paper with blue hues, two die cuts of ocean wave shapes, and I stamped, colored, and fussy cut out the otter image from the wild birthday stamp set. I used blue print and Arctic dye inks from Crafty Scrappers to color the ocean wave die cuts. Then I embossed the sentiment, You are utterly amazing, with white embossing powder on the topmost ocean wave die cut. Finally, I layered and stuck all elements on the card base to build the scene. That completes our last card. That's it for today. If you like this video, please do share and subscribe to the Crafty Scrappers and my channel Rat So Crafty. Thank you so much for watching.